and fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. Priestess, also known as Metal Babe of Guardians of the Galaxy Botanica LLC. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Please follow me on YouTube. Marisha Practitioner, Starseed, a reader. Welcome. Okay. So, we're going to do a couple of collective readings. I hate my eyebrows. <laughs> Yo, but they're dark as fuck. Damn. Anyway, welcome guys. So let's uh, share this feed. Let's begin. So what did we see? The first card out is the devil card. I really hate my <laughs> I'm cracking up by myself. I'm sorry, y'all. The first card is the devil card. There's control here. Someone is tampering with the water. I can't deal with my shit. Okay. Please follow me on YouTube as I won't be here as often. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm dying right now. <laughs> so, okay. I'm laughing because of, not because of the tarot. It's my eyebrows. Yo, I'm dying. I did this earlier and I couldn't take the shit off. I don't like it. Anyway, welcome. The first card out is the devil card. The temperance card. There's something in the water, okay? Some black magic. This is a spiritual warfare channel. So we talk about the occult. Welcome back, I'm so sorry. I had to reset the feed, okay? I don't know if this is gonna help me or... Oh yeah, this might help. <laughs> <laughs> so once again because I'm distracted the first card out is the devil card someone's tampering 
Someone's tampering with things, okay? Temperance card is in uh, next. The Ace of Wands. You have your own force and so does whoever this person is in your life. Capricorn energy, Sagittarius energy. This person thinks they have some sort of power over you. Absolutely not. Okay? Recognition and reward. This is about power, ego, control. This is a karmic situation. This is a karmic in your life. The devil card is accompanied by the uh, world card in reverse. This is control. This is a karmic cycle. At the bottom of the deck, we have the king of wands in reverse. This is a player. This is someone that wanted to dominate you, wants to give to you. Queen of wands, king of wands in reverse. You, do you understand what we're seeing here? Giving and receiving to the queen of wands. You may be a spiritual leader, a leader, very passionate, okay? They want to give to you. You may have, and this person may have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. You actually may have Capricorn. If I put, we're going to pull three more cards and see what from the top, okay? To see where, <laughs> whose energy is this? Because I'm also feeling like this is your energy, that you're closing off a cycle. Someone here, as I say that, we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So someone's taking effective assertiveness, control, power to close the cycle. But let's see. The King of Wands in reverse. This is someone non-commutal. This is someone who is for the streets, my dude. Okay, this person's a player. A hothead. It's a lower version of the uh, Emperor. The Six of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. They want to give to you. You're very abundant. You don't need anything. You don't need six more pentacles. You just need the one. And you're going to give yourself that last pentacle, right? You don't need anybody to give you that pentacle. Why? As I say that. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Eight of Pentacles. You make your own money. You make your own source. Your income. Energy. Okay? The thing is, is that this person... I'm hearing codependency is here. This may be your energy with the devil card. You may have Capricorn in your birth chart, okay? Situations are being dominated. So this is a spiritual warfare channel. I do talk about the occult, okay? Please follow me on YouTube because I will not be here as much as often. Please follow me on YouTube. I appreciate it. The five of swords with the four of swords. You've laid your sword down and put things to rest. You may have put this narcissistic person to rest. <laughs> Okay, control, power, domination. This may be, again, your energy. You taking control of any outside interference, black magic, gossip, slander, envy, jealousy, projection. You may be doing your spiritual hygiene, your spiritual baths. You may be returning to sender, okay? I'm so sorry. Bendiciones, ma ferefun. Salam alaikum. Okay, just in case. King of Pentacles. So you're in a masculine, feminine energy. You're the boss right now. You're. You are handing out karma. Okay, you or your ancestors, your spirit guides, guardian angels. Okay. I feel like this person may have started with you though. Okay. Energetically, you're feeling this energy. You're isolated right now, so you're tapped in. You're working with your spirit guides, guardian angels, your ancestors, and you're feeling these energies, and you know it's not your own. Queen of Wands. So, rebuke, bind, return to sender, transmute the energy so that you can press forward in wish fulfillment. Because what I'm hearing is, is that this masculine would be projecting you a lack mentality because this person is in lack mentality what does that mean lack mentality this is talking about this person being single this person being in a player energy okay i'm hearing this person is drinking partying socializing gift of the gab but let me find out again i split the deck we have the tower card here you may have scorpio in your birth chart
your ancestors are really backing you up. Holy shit. Yeah. The star card is here. Because they're trying to put a stop to your energy. And so you have put a stop to the situation. Ashe, ashe. Okay. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's behind the Queen of Cups? The King of Swords in reverse. This person may work out of a masculine and or feminine energy. This could be two separate people that you've cut off. Okay. I'm hearing mother figure, ex figure in your life. Ten of Wands in reverse. So you're not dealing with these energies. You're not socializing. Okay. I'm hearing sister, mother, and a, maybe frenemies, friends that you've cut off, a feminine and masculine, but the masculine is definitely an ex. King of, uh, King of Wands in reverse, King of Swords in reverse. This person's pissed that you have a new beginning and you are not working with this person. Queen of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups. Uh, Six of Swords, sorry. Their retreat. I'm hearing retreat, retreat. Okay. King of Pentacles. You called your power back. It's what's good. You absolutely did. King of Pentacles in your energy, masculine and or feminine energy. You have... Look at you. You called back your power. King and Queen of Swords is here. Okay. Switch the genders, okay? So you, it's you. You're in this devil energy. Temperance, Ace of Wands the wheel of fortune the world card in reverse beautiful okay get rid of whatever is not for you what it's you know what's projected whose energy is it so star seed light workers earth angels healers shamans empaths psychics mediums you feel this energy so make sure you use your discernment before doing anything okay make sure that you're in the right okay ask saint gabriel this is bugging me out i don't really get this dressed up <laughs> ask saint gabriel to be at your side and to witness you doing your return to senders okay i'm speaking to divine beings here taking action this channel is about taking action against while well, you're retaliating from people who are projecting negativity towards you okay so it's your birthright People trying to block your love, your money, your happiness, because they're not happy with themselves. Absolutely not. You take over and call back your power and clear out what energy is not yours. So mo it be, so shall it be, and then it is. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Please guys follow me on YouTube as I will not be here as much as often. I appreciate it. King of Wands in reverse. There's a an uh, ending, okay? I split the deck. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So the thing is, is that this King of Wands here, and this is Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The truth is, is this person thought you were returning. This person thought that... I feel like you were waiting for this person to return in a communication. At least to apologize or to say something here. But they never showed up. They've left. Retreat, retreat. You, you've you moved forward, okay? Don't move forward. <laughs> I mean, move forward. Don't move with them. Seven of Cups under illusions is here, or new opportunities are here. Clarify the King of Wands in reverse, please. Thank you. King of Wands with the Ten of Swords, please. King of Wands with the Ten of Swords. In concern is the Strength card, okay? I'm hearing for some of you this could be a karmic twin, okay? Or a karmic soulmate. You called your power back. Insanely called your power back. This is the first time I've done a reading where it's this dominant. At the bottom of the deck, we have opportunities. Okay, remember with these opportunities, there are illusions. The Seven of Cups talks about illusions, okay? The devil is here. A snake. Your ancestors. Justice. Integrity. Respect, jewelry, the loop, and the tower. You have new opportunities. So since you can decipher this energy, make sure to understand and decipher the energies coming through. Opportunities, relationships. Why? <laughs> we don't want to repeat the same cycle, right? 
same devil, different body, same soul, different uh, vessel. So at that point, understanding that, reflect about this past relationship. What are the, what did you learn from the relationship? What was the karmic lesson from that relationship? Have you healed and have you forgiven this per past person and or people? Because if you have forgiven them, you will receive the correct relationship. If you are not forgiving them, then you are unhealed. And you will call in the same relationship. Okay. Yes. Ten of Cups, it's a wish fulfillment. If you work out of compassion, forgiveness, and understanding... This is how we heal things. Okay, yes, we don't have to socialize with them. We don't have to communicate with them, but we have to forgive them. Why? Because this person is wasn't ready for you. They weren't ready for you. Narcissistic or not, they were not ready for you. They were not ready. Empress energy, emperor energy. They were not ready for you. King of Pentacles energy. You may have Virgo, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your birth chart. The tower is here. They're receiving tower moments because they're understanding the dark night of the soul, okay? That if they come towards you, they're going to have to do the dark night of the soul as you did. What is the dark night of the soul? Forgiveness, compassion, and understanding. And not just being like, oh, I forgive him. Wow, that's so stupid. No, you have to really put yourself in their shoes and understand why this person was not able to perform for some or be there for you if there's a third party situation you know it's i don't see it we saw the three of swords which could be stress heartache sadness grief or unhealed wounds from this person and or you so let's take accountability <laughs> for both parties or you know what i mean accountability for our unhealed wounds that may have affected the relationship the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You're abundant. You're meant to be abundant. You're giving to others energy. So you're calling back your energy, but you're also able to give your energy. Okay? If they're giving you negativity, you're able to transmute that energy into abundance. What is abundance to me? Spirituality. Growth. Opportunities. Opportunities and wisdom. Expansion. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. For some of you, your guides helped you manifest this ending. Why? Because you were in stagnant energy, holding you back from new opportunities. The Tower is not a bad card. This masculine energy and that feminine energy receiving the Tower is a blessing for them. It's a new opportunity that, for them to walk in a new life. This is what the Tower is about. There are doing the dark night of the soul they're also reflecting on their past actions towards you you show up as the empress you show up in this boss energy the empress the tower the queen of wands the king of pentacles masculine and feminine energy at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords so now they're forced to do the dark night of the soul which is great. You are the catalyst of change. You have fulfilled your mission. Now it's on them to heal themselves on their own, okay? After that, we have the justice card, okay? So this is your, you know, take what resonates, the whole thing. You have new opportunities. Ace of Pentacles is here. So where are you gonna put your quarter? In the slot machine, which one? new opportunities of growth all because you kept pushing 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 it's like you get into the pit the mosh pit and you're ready to push through you want to see the band but you also want to shit up so you're getting through so take action you're the magician These are, this is like a very empowering read this is beautiful Um, beautiful, but Knight of Cups, new love coming in. 
or this past person wanting to come back into your life because that's what we saw originally. What's behind the moon? Who is the person in charge of all this extra drama? I don't know what this music is, you know? <laughs> Is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Mother, sister, ex-friend. In reverse, this is an entitled person. In reverse, this Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. I'm also seeing the dogs here. So this could have been a friend of yours that you gave love, companionship, loyalty to, confidence. Okay, for some. This person is now in mental entrapment. You do not communicate to this person, and now you have this new beginning. I don't know what this music is, dude. It's bugging me out. <laughs> it's too empowering. This person's lost. If this is spell work, this person is what they're projecting to you is now returned. This person has no spiritual communication. Listen, last time I said shit like this, I got banned, so follow me on YouTube, okay? New opportunities, new beginnings for you. High Priestess comes out next. These people, places, and things, past jobs also. Holding on to your energy. Uh, and the thing is, is that you're having a great day and then all of a sudden you're like, oh. <laughs> you're feeling some sort of grief. You're feeling some sort of sadness, uncomfortableness, and it's these past people. I gotta change this beat, it's bugging me out. I usually check the music before and this is not, it's no bueno. Do more on the new Samsung Galaxy S23 series with Google Lens. See Later on, because I just received a text message, if you would like a reading, it's 3333. At the end, I couldn't do it. <laughs> it's bugging me out. It's like, calm down. Uh, 3333, whoever texts me, okay? I appreciate the text message that actually works. Um, so the reason why they're holding on to your energy, High Priestess, at this point, you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, is because they're unhappy that you've left, okay? They're out of balance. You called back your energy. How do you do it, Divine Feminine? How do you take the towers that we're sending you? How do you take the black magic, the gossip, the slander? Because you are divinely protected. Because you gave your ancestors veneration. Because you embrace change. The alchemist, okay? You are the alchemist. You show up as the magician. So you're the transmuter of pain, okay? Some kinky shit going on spiritually. Maybe you've done the dark night of the soul. You put things in your past. I feel like you're still holding on to something here. And I feel like it's just the residue of these past people. Don't sweat it. We have a full moon. Continue to do your cleansings. Do what you got to do. No names needed. We're not targeting people. We're not afflicting people. We get a package from FedEx and we're just like, oh, this is not my name. So you're returning whatever it is. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, star scene. A star angel. Okay. So you put a stop to this, which is excellent. I'm proud of you. Um, because it does take a lot of, a lot of, I mean, for me, it's something I don't want to fucking do, to be honest. I love these people, even though, you know, from far, far away. <laughs> like, I wish you well. I wish you received like a, the best really whatever fits you you know uh, and that's how we should walk you know that's that's the walk of respect of the journey because they taught you a lesson they made you who you are soulmate energy and nostalgia is here someone is here okay the Four of Swords is in reverse. Excuse me, the Four of Swords. The Four of Wands is in reverse. And the Six of Cups is here. Nostalgia is here in the house. Uh, this person may feel your your energy. 
deci uh, de dissipating from the house. Okay, the home, the foundation. If you have moved. I'm telling you, this past person thought you would return. They want to give you a high level commitment, but you've walked away and you walk with source. You walk with God. You're in alignment. You're praying. You're doing your spiritual hygiene. You're taking care of your home, your new home, your business, your foundation, which is why you show up as the king of pentacles, masculine and or feminine energy. This is a positive reading. Holy moly. All about calling and taking your power back. And it's also not just your ancestors, your spirit guides, guardian angels that are backing you up, but it's the most high God. Okay. You're being celebrated. You're able to work with new opportunities. New projects are in fruition. So we've done this before, okay? We've absolutely done this before. So some of you may have done something different this time. Some of you have not even taken action, which is why the Most High God has stepped in and helped you, okay? The Five of Cups in Reverse. A, a page of swords so you're moving forward you're making progress and again you left them out you left them out in the cold <laughs> okay they're taking the sleep of faith in their emotions drinking I, I feel bad for these energies because there's only one you there's only one of you your uniqueness your love your communication, your own personal wisdom, your own personal patience and guidance here. They will never find another you. And I feel horrible. Queen of Swords and the fucking Empress. There's only you. And whatever work they have, you see where I'm circling here, this little tree here? The work, the black magic, gossip, the slander, the monitor spirit. Continue to do your cleansings and ask this energy to come out and leave. Leave your home, Queen of Swords. Because again, this person doesn't want you to make money on your own or new connections. This person, if you're an artist, they may not want you to play, uh, do any artistic things, which is, you know, not your decision, my dude, right? Uh, what's happening? Clarify the uh, Queen of Wands. Oh. Clarify the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So you're working hard. You're transmuting the pain, the stress. You're healing for some of you. Tem temperance card, but you're taking the matters in your own hands. Okay? You may work with the Archangels, Ascended Masters. Okay, ask Archangel Gabriel to be your witness, your lawyer, the lawyer of men. If you don't know what's going on, just bounce. Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, please, and thank you so much. Yeah, you took this leap of faith. The full card is here. Ace of Pentacles. You took a chance on you. You took a chance on faith, on your true destiny, your life path. Collecting good energy, giving back good energy. I'm very, very stoked for you. Absolutely. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Capricorn. You may have that in your birth chart. Sagittarius, you may have. I think I said that already. You always speak the truth about fail, uh, what has happened, but you always speak the truth to source, to the Most High God, to others, to your friends, your family. Okay, I'm telling you, you and your spirit guides, garden angels, and ancestors ma manifested this ending. Absolutely. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. You brought karmic justice to the situation. This person, again, if I read it as this person having a tie on you, Empress energy, Emperor energy, 
is to hold you back from your true potential. But now you have this new opportunity to do so. So don't abuse the situation. Always move with unconditional love, passion, integrity, and self-respect. Inner wisdom, infinite wisdom. No egos. Tell me about this double card, please. And thank you so much for the opportunity to spend time with you and read. Please, guys, follow me on YouTube as I'm not really here. And, or when I am, I, I talk shit and then I get banned. So please follow me on YouTube. I appreciate you guys so much. Welcome. There's a lot of new people here. Welcome, guys. YouTube, thank you for being here. Um... Clarify this devil card here. Oh, I put that other card. In place. Uh, devil card, please. Thank you. Spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors of the highest, whitest light of the Holy Spirit. I ask uh, for the truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, clarify the devil card here. Yeah. For some of you, if you're dealing with a feminine energy towards Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, or you may have Pisces in your birth chart, this person would be materialistic. This person would be, give me your money <laughs> type of energy, or this feminine energy is ungrounded, uh, insecure in their finances, or what potential that they could do. Okay. The lovers in reverse. For some of you, that may be also a mother figure, a sister, or a frenemy, or a friend. Uh, clarify the devil card, please. Okay, one question is 3333 towards the end of the night. If you're interested, just push it through. See, this is what I'm saying. You work in integrity and love. You loved and love these people for some of you. Because this control, it's like your right use of power. You didn't want to hurt them. You don't want to afflict them. You don't want to project fucking Metallica fight fire with fire. You want to put the fire out, right? We want to dead things. We don't want to keep amplifying bullshit, spell chucking shit. We want to have respect for the spiritual law. So you took the time to actually take consideration instead of taking action, okay? With your projections with your shit talking towards them okay so projection you're feeling this energy oh my god he's so fucking annoying or, you know type shit you know instead of that you're just like okay i acknowledge it and i it's it's not for me it's not working so you took action you took control over your own emotions so be very proud of yourselves as you're growing and you're understanding how much power and force and love this is love this is passion. This is communication. This is action. So you took the time to consider these people before you fuck shit up or uh, cleared the pathway yourself. Okay. This is why you get so much respect here. Okay. Six of swords, six of wands. That's why you're able to move forward. And you see, you see you're holding the world right now. And that's what God's given you the entire world you are incredibly blessed you are incredibly loved you have the whole world in your hands opportunities i'm so stoked for you some of these people again want to return because they can't sleep with you they can't think with without you they can't they miss you okay so you're having consideration for these people uh temperance card please Thank you. that's way too much Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Things are being illuminated. Okay, your discernment is like high level. Okay, you understand the red flags. You're the one. You're the child on the pale horse. The death card. Death and rebirth. Illuminating the truths. Illuminating transformation. Bringing to light 
flaws, but being able to help them transmute even from afar. Let me pick these cards up here. Okay. You see things from a totally different perspective almost every day. Take your time to appreciate and uh, live in gratitude for the experience, okay? What was done to you was done for you to elevate. This is why your discernment, should I fuck shit up, should I not? You are being tested by divine. One second, hold that thought. Take what resonates. If you're doing your spiritual baths, if you're transmuting energy, black magic, gossip, slander, envy, jealousy, um, freezer jobs, financial freezer jobs, love jobs. Because what I'm hearing, what she's saying to me, is that it would be to put you out of whack. Also, Queen of Cups in reverse could be you to put you in your emotions, to put you out of balance and out of love. I'm never going to receive love. I'm not going to know what that feels like. It's so that you return to this masculine. But then this masculine doesn't want to even, or isn't capable, I should say, of talking to you because of whatever the other third party was doing. Okay. As I say that, we have the moon card and the three of swords on the floor. Okay. The three of swords is in reverse. Oh, in the upright. These are the illusions. This is a friend that did this to your relationship. Okay. Or a mother figure, a mother-in-law. This is someone, the Queen of Cups can be incredibly, incredibly jealous. Jealous, controlling, guilt-tripping, gaslighting love bombing if this is a friend even oh but you're like so great you're so beautiful blah, blah, blah. bullshit <laughs> like get the fuck queen of swords energy absolutely not like you see it you call it you know it okay this is the projection okay that was being projected towards you and or your person if you were separated if you found yourself like the week before in bliss in the relationship then all of a sudden boom everything went to shit that may have been projection outside of the relationship that you both so this masculine is sensitive also okay this is a a psychic connection but i feel like this masculine the king of wands in reverse would know that they have capabilities or spiritual qualities and i feel like this person is what hard-headed okay so maybe you tried to tell him hey you know you're, you can, you know, you're a spiritual leader, so lead. And the King of Wands in reverse is not capable of doing that. Hangman. So he's having a, uh, an awakening now, okay? This masculine's waking up. Ascension is here. So if he answers the call properly, then yeah, absolutely. Uh, clarify the King of Wands. Uh, Clarify the Ace of Wands, please. I'm going to take my power back. Yeah. You got these people disoriented, okay? Again, this is a spiritual warfare channel. So if you're doing spiritual cleansings, if you're an empath, a medium, a psychic, a spiritualist, you're picking up these energies. If you feel this energy and you're like, oh, no, 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 Palo Santo, get out, sage, get out, then you've done well, okay? The upkeep of your spiritual hygiene and self-respect and the soul respect is fantastic. Take care of yourself spiritually. If you see these people, do not touch them, okay? Energy transfer is real <laughs> also. So because they're still attracted to you and how much force i'm gonna say not power but force the action that you take behind the compassion you have for yourself and the self-respect you have they're disoriented they can't see they can't understand they come to you as a page we 
you take my cup? Okay. Um, it's because you did the inner work. You did this dark night of the soul. You're working with source. You're work. You're able new opportunities. Working with your higher self, your inner child. You may be working with your ancestors and communicating to them, hey, I need this. Again, why you show up as the King of Pentacles here. Or you may be working with someone in the future. Who sees you're abundant. I hear cash cow. I don't like that. So if that's... Use your discernment, whoever comes into your opportunity, your life now, moving forward. Because you've elevated on some other level. Whoever this person is, I, because I heard cash cow or an opportunity, be careful. Communicate to your guides. You know what I said in a couple of feeds, uh, live sessions way back, and I saw all the scammers. <laughs> and I saw that person connected to the, the shit, and I was so surprised. So, what did I say to God, Source? I said, into the light. No, huh? <laughs> I said, spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors of the highest, whitest light of the Holy Spirit that guide, that protect me. Please illuminate to me what is hidden. Show me my hidden enemies. Show me how to take care of myself, my discernment, my spiritual abilities, my mediumship. Guide me to see what is not seen. Show me my enemies hidden, known and unknown, named and unnamed. Show me my own flaws. So that I may adjust. Show me what's hidden. Okay. I love Constantine. It's my favorite movie. I, I may get the tattoo. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Into the light. That's fucking phenomenal. Okay. And that was Gabriel too. That's wild. Gabriel was bad. <laughs> um, yeah, you put this energy out. Okay. Yeah. Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups with the Strength card. Send them light. Do everything out of love and light. The reason why I say love, light, metal, earth is because you're still defending yourself. You're a spiritual warrior. Uh, you're defending, protecting yourself and those that you love in the 3D, in the 5D, in the 12D. Your spiritual family. Okay. Even your pets. Mar de ojo, bad eye, evil eye. But you're a star seed, a light worker, an earth angel. And you've already the alchemist. So you've already gone through these towers, these illusions, these projections. The psychic attacks. If we're talking about mediumship here. You take it all you took all the hits. You took it. Which is why you sit in this position today and are able to be in full gratitude for the experience, even the narcissism, even the spiritual narcissism, even you, uh, this masculine not wanting you to have a job, but then wants you to pay for it. I'm confused with this energy. My table's doing shit. <laughs> Okay, you're nine of pentacles, king of pentacles. Give yourself this last pentacle, okay? Again, someone new may want to work with you towards Virgo Capricorn, but again, what I heard was kind of funky, so just discern me. Yeah. Two of cups in reverse, ending of a situation. And it feels like it was not, for some of you, it may have been two years or a year. For some of you, four years. But you're able to break off what was not meant for you. And your guys were kind of mentioning it the whole time. Influencing you. Yeah, you know, this is not good. <laughs> I'm starting to dislike my partner. Or there are qualities in my partner that I didn't notice before. Red flag. Okay. So ask spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors to illuminate to you these red flags. Um, because the red flags is what's going to help you understand what you do like. And what you do not like what you can tolerate and what you should not tolerate because the relationship is all self-respect all give and take okay you're able to move forward i'm super stoked for you yeah they want to stop you they want to give you a flat tire chariot in reverse uh what's the overall energy at this point please take overall energy it's a lot of cards that are coming out 
I'll take them. Okay. Page of Cups in Reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Oh, this is the same. Maybe my hands are oily. A false reading. But she says take them, yes? Okay. Which is, okay. So King and Queen of Pentacles, your energy. Uh, if this is another person that wants to work with you, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Okay. This is a new relationship and you're understanding, you have discernment. <laughs> Hard. Like you see, you could see aura and energy, expression. I feel like if you're like me, you notice things like different, like small shit like that. You know, I don't know, the smallest things you notice. You can read body language is what I'm trying to say. You can pick up on false energies, false lovers. A lot of people are upset at you also. <laughs> That you're not accepting their cup okay you have a lot of people watching they want you to return you got people competing for you you're slowly creeping in this is the truth because you're manifesting ten of pentacles in reverse they don't suit you though these are this is not i feel like if it's i feel like you would be looking for the one if you're having this force to take control of your life and get rid of what doesn't serve you yourself with your hands. God says war with your hands and your fingers and I'll back you up. So you did. Um, shut up. Okay, let's shuffle. Please guys follow me on YouTube because I will not be here as often, but I will try. Uh, thank you guys. Everyone here, everyone here, absolutely. You guys were guided here, divinely guided here, as you say. Absolutely, welcome. You're, this is your channel, this is your home. I really appreciate spending time with you and reading with you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Clark by the Six of Wands here, please. Okay. Six of Wands. The King of Cups. Recognition, reward. The King of Cups is here with the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles here. Uh, excuse me. So someone wants to give to you this King of Cups. I meant to say King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. If you, I mean, I feel like you guys are embodying the, the same energy. But someone also may see you in this recognition, respect, reward. Um, you're actually an official person. You're an official person. Like this. Oh, Six of Pentacles is here in reverse. Yeah, don't give to these people. You have something brand new that you've been, or something you've been working on four years, three years, four years, four months, four years. <laughs> fall from grace is here. Any interaction, fall from grace. Bendicion, I thank you. Lucy Progreso, light and progress to you, your spirit guides, guardian angels, your ancestors. <laughs> Yeah, your ancestors are, are protecting, okay? If you are initiated uh, with, say, Ogun, okay? Chango is with you. I only say that because you're mentioning the Koyare. And you call them Koyare, uh, which is fantastic. Okay. The Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, look. I'm hearing Chevelle. I think it's Chevelle. This house is not a home. Or is that three three days grace? Home. Home. This house is not a home. <clears throat> you guys know that shit. <laughs> uh, six of pentacles, two of pentacles, two of cups. Ace of cups. Emperor. Magician. Yeah. You're manifesting this protection around you. Your guys are allowing you to be in the lab. Okay. And protect what's yours the lab as in your four of wands your life 
away from this person. So now you can ha you have access to abilities that you never had access to. Okay, downloads, messages. And look at this. Yeah, this way, right? The magician, the emperor in reverse. This person would be, if I read it horizontally, this person would be the one manifesting endings for you in relationships. No connections, but you are. You've already met this person. Look, Ace of Cups. Uh, excuse me, Ace of Cups. Uh, yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. This person doesn't want you to be in a relationship, but you've already met this person for some of you. Stop, thieves are around. There's some snakes around. Hey, welcome back. I'm being guided to stop. There's like five stops. Let me see. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, overall? Okay. Overall energy. Spirit guides, guardian, guardian angels and ancestors. The collective and warm hearts myself. in the chat what the hell <laughs> yeah I, I guess so it's listen it's a new it's a new experience for me too because we've all done this uh, this is not easy this is not easy to overcome Someone wrote, you're happy. Yeah, I guess so, shit. I'm happy I'm here doing something I love to do. Okay, now it's getting wild in here. Overall energy, please and thank you. Overall energy, S in concern, judgment. Seven of Cups. The overall energy is the uh, Six of uh, Pentacles in concern, okay? To give to them, to not give to them, or receive from them, vice versa. Okay, the concern is giving and receiving. Okay, your energy. This reading is all about calling your power back from these past people and new connections also. So, Casting out judgment, ripping the veil off so that you can see, I can see. Spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors of the highest, widest light, the Holy Spirit. God, I am. I can see. I am guided. I am protected. I am in love. I am in the energy of curiosity, wonder, and excitement of how deep the universe is and how good life is. This is how you move today. This is how you move tomorrow. This is how you push forward away from narcissism or, he uh, you know, your healing. Now, these people of your past are healing because you made this happen. And that's, yeah, absolutely incredible. It's a beautiful experience if they can uh, admire it from, you know, in that way. Because <laughs> at first, I know you guys may have been hurt. There's a lot of crying. There's a lot of, like, I don't want to be here. I understand. But if they can push through this test and become a higher version, because a king of wands could be a spiritual leader, could be your leader or your power couple. King of wands, queen of wands, the empress. 
but this sh this person shows up the only energy this person would have is the king of cups and the upright which the love was real but i feel like whatever spell work or unhealed wounds from this person they couldn't communicate their throat chakra is fucked and i also feel that that would be from projection from that extra energy okay whoever the fuck that queen of cups was in reverse mother figure sister friend of me aunt for some of you she's saying that's it okay so that's it for this reading okay 144 on the clock please angel number google this number angel number 144 okay so we are all a part of the 144 i believe why because we all should be chosen we should all have that opportunity to have that unconditional love and force uh and devotion and discipline of course um to actually take on that title there is my theory that there's out of the 144 there are the number nine nine times nine and those nine times nine beings are the alchemists that can take the hits that have been in the dark that have been the light in the dark for themselves and for others and that's why you got the most hits that's why you were able to push through and getting into the mosh pit getting in the pit and being able to see the band up close okay Some of you, uh, yesterday we were talking about fasting, okay? So if you want to help yourself ascend, you know, uh, I'm fasting now, I'm only eating, I, I'm having my tea and my coffee, I don't give a fuck, but I'm drinking, drink a whole gallon of water within the span of two days or three, um, eat in the daytime, don't eat at night, stay on your spiritual hygiene, um, because what's going to happen is you're going to receive these downloads and you got to continue to clear the energy okay before you go to bed for those who smoke you may want to stop for a minute okay if you're taking spirituality serious thank you oh there's I haven't used charms in a minute. There's a guitar here. Yay. Uh, a guitar leaf. The fucking freezer job. Look. Let me get you angel numbers first. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm bugging. There's a heart with a frost on it. So they made your heart cold. They tried to. And they try to make this masculine's heart cold. But I feel like because you are taking action because you are taking action to take care of yourself and your foundation the mind body soul spirit that you have melted the spiritual work that was done against you you took action to rebuke bind and return to sender to clear your energy there's a heart here look i know you can't really see it let me put it right here you can't see it <laughs> There's a heart here with a, uh, a snowflake. This is freezer work. This work may have been started in the fall. She's saying uh, Halloween, October. Also, there's a guitar here. So maybe you guys are listening to music now. Okay. Angel numbers. These numbers, please look it up. Okay. Okay, what is it? We have number five. <laughs> 55, 44. So angel number 55, 44. Yes. You could say 55 and 4, 44. Or 5,000. Okay. All right. All right. Um... <laughs> 
Angel number 5544. 62. Look. Someone has a crush on you. Uh, I say look and you can't see shit. There is... Oh my gosh. There's an arrow. Okay. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> There's an arrow with love here. There's a dog bone in the fall. Grave magic. Some of you I'm hearing were, okay, so just hear me out. And I, I don't know if I can say this on, well, whatever. Um, some of you may have been in an energy of wanting to end things in December, okay? There's a Santa, you know, like, whatever those socks okay are there the christmas socks capricorn energy is here this may have been done by a capricorn it's in reverse the number 62 the tree of life is here so a death spell is here uh started in october and came into fruition around Christmas time. Someone may have had a loss of a child and my condolences. Okay, this is a pacifier in reverse. You may be a star seed light worker, earth angel. There's a star here. Start believing who you are. Have faith in who you are, okay? Spelling sucks. Okay. Yeah. At that time, I feel that you kind of lost, like lo self-love wasn't there, okay? You have a bow tie in reverse, there's a heart here, but half, she's saying half empty, not half full. And there's a crescent moon, so moon magic in self-love, moon magic in, um, what is that, glamour magic, okay? <laughs> Making you have pimples or break out or like, you. I don't love myself, okay? So moon magic, glamour magic, death spells freeze your job in your love life someone may have lost a child here and also I see a lollipop so sweets are here with love someone may side note and someone may give you candy or something I don't know <laughs> and then you have the word love over here on the side with music guitar is here the tree of life is here you have another heart that's broken here. Or you and your past person may have eaten a lot of sweets. Have more faith where you come from, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors. Again, for instance, I am a Palladian. I am. We're in an energy of I am. Okay? Okay. Somebody may ride bikes here. A lot of gift exchanges here. There's disorienting. So some of you need a cinnamon stick at your door. Okay? Get a cinnamon, uh, cinnamon broom. There's a message here. What is this? I don't know what this is. What is this? Okay. More fruits in your diet. Okay. There's bees. So bees have stingers, but you're sweet, but you sting. A uh, piercing is here. So you may have a piercing or are planning to receive a piercing. Look at how, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> There's a clavicle, uh, clavicle cross on top of the death spell section. You were protected back then too, but you may have taken that hit, that emotional hit where you're attempting to leave here. Okay. I meant to say cinnamon broom. Um, 
but it has this dizzy spell here. So this is this shit is disorienting. Oh my god. Right? You see it? So dizziness is here, confusion is here. So they had you playing in your emotions and your energy. This is all spell work. What is this? I haven't done a charm reading in forever. This is fun. What is this thing? Okay, a pumpkin. Fall. Guitar. So a lot of uh, music is here. Anyway, the major things to uh, call out, again, the death spell, the freezer job in your love life, um, freezer job or glamour spell, moon magic is here. And there's a message here for you. Okay, so once again, your angel number is 5544, 62. You could take 55 separate and 44 separate or together. That's it for that. Shit. Oh, man. Awesome, guys. I think if you resonate with people doing spell work, then you resonate. If not, do not take it. Past, present, or future. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. It's hot in here. I'm not going to lie. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, as I talk about things, we get banned here sometimes, okay? The king of the snips. What is that? Excellent. Okay. Okay, a message from the Seven Sisters. Is this the deck? Yes, it is. A message from the Palladians. A message from the Palladians. Let's go. Is that what that is? That's wild. I've never heard that. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, snips are people who chase the X. How did that? Sorry. After this, I will be resetting this, the feed. Okay. I'm going to reset the feed. Yeah, it's in reverse, yeah? So in reverse, because you've done this and for some of you may need to start doing this and focus deep cellular healing, uh, Arctis energy, physical and emotional healing. Okay, so inner work. Uh, this person may be wanting to do this, but of course we're not in communication with this person, so we'll send them healing love and light. And protection right so you may want to watch um, what helped me may work for you or if not I don't know give it a try uh, the oh ho ho kapono prayer I thought it was a joke <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I was like this is kind of silly so then I watched uh, actualize.org Leo and he has a video on forgiveness watch it he walks you through a meditation uh, you get to visualize everything and it helped me i had to do it three times within the three month span 
and then I got to do the oh ho ho kapono and I was ready. I, I did it. So I hope that that can help you. It's in the community board on Insta uh, YouTube. Too many platforms. Yeah, at first I, uh, oops, at first I didn't, I was like, this is silly. I, I was like, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> but it really did work. So inner work, deep healing is here. Uh, great serving is here. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. So transmuting the energy is here. From harsh energy to positivity. Uh, but also actualizing and understanding. Firmesa, she says. Finesse with this transition. Okay, lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Yes, we have done this before. And this time around, as we started in the beginning of the read, I said, you guys done this before. There may have been something different that you didn't or do this time around. Instead of taking action harshly, you transmuted that energy with this card here, clarifier, and you did things out of compassion this time. So congratulations. You guys passed the test. Absolutely. Star Brothers is at the bottom of the deck. It says here, Star Brothers, Aurus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Okay. Know that you are guided, you are protected, but continue to do your practice, whatever that may be for you, your spiritual practice, your spiritual hygiene, okay? So I'm going to reset the feed. And... I don't know if we're frozen. Are we frozen? There we go. We froze for a minute. So I'm going to reset the feed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, uh, YouTube. Okay. Follow me on YouTube. There's some readings there on the occult. Um, any practitioners against you or tarot readers or past frenemies. Um, whatever. Excellent. I, fro I froze then. I'll see you guys later. I'll be right back. This has been your reading.